Alright, on tower. Take taxi off. I'm gonna put landing on when we go. Okay, so landing, strobes are already on. Flaps take off. Full pump you, you do need, yep. Upper take off we use. Okay. Propellers full. Okay, mixtures rich. That's take off. Oh, full is tank. It is. Okay. On the left. Concord Tower, Diamond 526, Delta Sierra, holding short, runway 2, ready to go. Diamond Star 526, Delta Sierra, Concord, runway 2, clear for takeoff, runway heading for now. Runway 2, clear for takeoff, uh, runway heading for now, 526, Delta Sierra, thanks. Runway 62350, right, departure traffic, heading to your right, two we'll miles, 1,300, turn in the left base, let me know when you see him. We got our traffic inside for 350. Approach is clear. 62350, number 2, following the archer, runway 2, clear to land. Number two, following the Archer, runway two, clear to land. Six, two, three, five, zero. Stays on, we're within 10 miles, flaps are up, fuel pumps off, lean, that's, that's a 2400. Yep, I think you're good till you get cruise altitude. Alright, we're at 2700. That puts us 500 below the clouds and below the last Bravo. Hey. Hey, today Alec is back with us on vacation from school, so we're putting him to work. Uh, we're going to do some commercial maneuvers today. So we're working on commercial at school. And uh, we're going to do a few. We're kind of limited. we got a 3,200-foot ceiling, so we might not get Lazy 8s or Dells in because that would put us in the clouds. But we are Mike Romeo off to the ring. Get some other things. Maybe a steep power turn. Um, uh, we're not going to get a steep spiral because we can't get enough uh, altitude to pull that one off. Up. Some eights on pylons, maybe some ground reference, and uh, definitely some power off 180 work. I think I've done one power off 180 before. Okay. That was probably over a year ago. I think I did that with Nick, to be honest. And there's, you know, we'll see which way fits you best. Uh, there's a couple different ways we can do it as far as configuring. Nine or three, nine or can we get the uh, option? Kind of a standard configuration. Get the first notch flaps in, power off. I'm closer, a little closer to the runway, and I'm going to make that turn sooner. Um, some guys don't want to put any flaps in until they get turned around. I just found it easier to keep it as close to a regular landing as possible, and then dump those flaps at the end when you need them. But we'll see what works for you. And let's see here. So 1500, or about says so about 2200 is our floor for doing any air work, and we're 500 above that. So I think I think steep power turns are going to be the of your air work. Got uh, clouds above us and a floor below us. And, uh, yeah. All right. So let's talk a little bit about eights on pylons. Um, I think eights on pylons. It's actually harder to set the darn maneuver up than it is to actually fly the maneuver. Um, you have to calculate a pivotal altitude. Do you have that? Nope. Okay. Is this the one where you pick two points and do the... Sorry, Basically, it's a pick your eight between two points. I think I'll be like two, three seconds yeah, apart. About well, five to seven five seconds. Seven. A count of five uh, to seven. Down. And... Um, runway heading to 3,000. And the pivotal altitude is based on your ground speed. So our ground speed in this plane shows right there. One, two, three. I usually like to do a hundred knot ground speed. I found that to be pretty comfortable, but you can do whatever. And the way we're going to find our pivotal altitude is we're going to take our ground speed we're going to square it, and then we're going to divide it by 11.3 knots. If you're using miles per hour, you would divide it by 15. And um, there's a whole mythology and formulas as to why all this works, but we're not going to get into that. We're just going to go 100 squared divided by 11.3. Yeah, why don't you do that in your head? Uh, let's just go to the calculator, because people on YouTube have little tolerance for being wrong. They will, uh, yes, they will definitely comment 
Right, that's 884 feet. Yeah, that's what I got in my head. Okay. Now, that's, that's, eight, a, that's eight, 885, you got to round up. Okay. Going. And that's AGL. So, oh, minus in, 700. in this area, we're going to go plus 700. Plus 700. We want an MSL reading. So, plus 700, about 1,600 feet. Which is what I was thinking, 15 to 60. That's going to be your initial altitude. We're going to find two points. We'd like to enter right between the two points, kind of in the in where the, the figure eight crosses, and we'd like to have a tailwind. Um, there's really not much not much wind to speak of today. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, wait a minute. Battery just went dead in the headset. Oh, minor technical difficulty here. But we're gonna fix it. It's just how good this Bose headset is. It's so quiet. Ah, that's better. Bose. Nice and quiet, that Bose. If you're listening, sponsorship. I take a sponsorship. Sure, why not? Speckles. Bose, right there. Yep, that's so much better. Right? Yep. Batteries are fixed. Right, so that's our initial altitude. So we're going to enter in between the two points and at that altitude. We're going we're gonna to start the configuration, and when your wingtip crosses the pylon, right when it covers it, that's where we're going to bank into it. I see three water towers over here. Two of them look like... I I'm not, might be too far. I'm actually. not a fan of using things above the ground. Oh. I want things on the ground. Like, bar, in small things, like a barn. Or, you know, uh, uh, a house. Or, or a short water tower I'll take. But high stuff I'm, I'm not a fan of. Um, and that is a good point. We need to be cognizant of the fact what kind of towers are around. We're doing this maneuver. We're reaching to the ground. Um, all right, so we got to watch that. So we'll find our two points, we'll enter, turn in, and basically you want to keep that point just above your wingtip, just in all the way around that turn. Now, what we're going to do to keep that point in the spot is use altitude. This is different than turns around a point for your private, where basically you're just a bank and, and all that stuff. We're going to keep our bank fairly consistent. And whichever way the point goes is the way we're going to push the stick. So if the starts getting in front of us, we'll push the stick forward. If it gets behind us, we'll pull the stick back. That will alter our airspeed to bring the point back to where we want it to be. You around that point, now once you get, you know, three quarters or so away around that point, you got to start eyes up and trying to figure out where that next point is, roll out, and then do the exact same thing up there. But right. We're not going to maintain altitude, right? So that's not a requirement for this maneuver. Uh, we're going to do a power setting of a, whatever power setting gets us 100 knots. And we're going to try to leave the power alone. We're trying to take as many variables out of this thing as possible. And if we can just leave power alone, and with a little wind like this, that should be an issue. Um, bank in, and the whole key is to keep that little point perched on your uh, on your wingtip. Uh, you want to start with a steep power turn? Yeah, we can do that. So we're going to do two 360s. One to the left, and then roll right out of that. One to the right, or vice versa, however you want to do it. Uh, now this one, altitude is, it's the same criteria, plus or minus 100 feet. We need to roll out on our heading. Um, again, we're going to try to keep the power setting consistent. I think with, with two people in here, we're going to, we're going to bring her back. We'll do a clearing turn, uh, get our airspeed down to maneuvering speed, which with, with our weighting is 100, 105 right now. And once you roll into it, I find that 20, 23 inches, 22, 23 inches seems, we'll keep our RPMs at 2,400. Now where this varies from a private pilot steep turn is we want to be greater than 45 degrees, not Yeah, so you got to be like right over right. here between the last between two. 45 and 60 degrees, no greater than 60, no less than 45. And what you'll find, in this one particularly, if you start losing a bunch of altitude, you may have to roll out of that bank a little bit. You may not be able to just yank back on the stick and maintain that bank and get it back. Um, so you can vary that a little bit to keep, but that's our that's our goal. So it's, it's very similar to the private pilot standard uh, turn. We have a nice day that it's cloudy, but you can still see the horizon line. So right, I like to get, I, I use my instrument kind of get me established, then I pick that horizon line on my cowling and try to use that. Because if you try to follow this vertical speed, it moves around so fast you're going to be chasing it forever. So let's start slowing down. Give me a clearing turn, 90 degree one way or the other. Um, oh, I know what I was going to say. So 
It's a very hazy day, and this terrain doesn't have a lot of good landmarks to start with, so we're going to use our heading bug. We're going to cheat a little bit and use our heading bug as our beginning and ending point. And you, yeah, you can start slowing, you can do your clearing turn while you're slowing down. I'm also going to check our ADSB. Looks like we're pretty around here. Alright, so we're going to start, get her slowed down to about 100, 105 before you start to maneuver and chew. Once you turn into it, add your power. Alright. Okay. You ready? I'm ready. Uh, 120 feet old. That's all right, as long as you get her back. And then try to get your eyes out. Once you get her established, get your eyes out. And I find it easy. Lost it again. Well, there's one fifty I lost. Okay, get ready for your roll. Look, you're coming up on your point. And remember, when you roll out, you need to go stick forward some because you're going to pick up all that lift that you were using to turn, and it'll balloon you. So, and then you go pull it right back. It's a fair amount of back pressure. You can use the trim wheel if you want. I. I'm not a fan of that. Put it back to take off. Okay. I'd rather just do it with the stick and learn how to do it. There you go. The second turn was much better. Okay. You, you ended up back on standard. We had a little roller coaster ride in the middle, but look. Yeah, okay. 150 drop too much. Ready for, the, ready for the check ride. Yeah, all right. Let's go. All right. I wish we could do the other ones, but I just don't see us having the room. Let's go. Let's go to Anson and do a few landings. We Alright, so back to what we were doing. So, we don't have to square off our pattern for this. We're going to play it by ear on how high we are. If we're getting low, we can turn right in towards the numbers. If we're too high, we can kind of square it off and kind of work it out. We have everything at our disposal except power. I'd rather have you come in a little high. You can always slip it on final. Yeah, it's, sometimes it's been doing that. It pops back and forth. Uh, but obviously, if you're too low, you're hosed. Yep. Alright, there's the thousand footers. I just lost my power, huh? Alright, power's gone. Power's gone, propeller full, mixture full. On this on. Uh, fuel fuel pump, pump, everything just like we're normal, yep. Alright, and I would put my first nitro flaps in. And now, start turning towards. Anson County traffic 9526, Delta Sierra, turn base, runway 34, Anson County. Alright, what do you think? Square it off or kind of head more in on it? I don't know, I'm still deciding. I think I'd start heading towards the numbers. I think if you square it off, you yeah, might be too low. Now yeah, we're going to try to land on those thousand footers. Anson County traffic 9526, Delta Sierra, turn and final, runway 34, Anson County. We'll go too soon on those. Yeah, we got altitude, I think. Okay, put me on the thousand footers. Not before. And Skywagon holding for landing 434 on the Well, time. maybe I shouldn't uh, have put those in. <laughs> Uh, I'm starting to sink here. Yeah, well, let's see what you can do. Yeah, I'm well, need to add some power, bro. Okay, go. Go around. Go around. Go around. Anson traffic, Diamond 945, Lima, clear, uh, runway 34. I'm taxiing back to runway. Right, there's another one holding up, so just Tommy doing a go around. Anson County traffic, Diamond 526, Delta Sierra doing a go around. Anson County. Yeah. Yep. As soon as I put those things in, we uh -huh. just woo! That's a ton of drag. You don't want to do it that soon. Alright. Alright, this is better now. You're showing high. Now I'll let you use your judgment with the flaps. Hey, you're high and fast, yeah, aren't you? Too high. Alright, so you could put a little slip in there. Let's see what happens. Uh, too long. Okay. Did your flaps go ahead. Not much too long now. It's all about just feel and sight picture. You can hug the downwind close to the runway and make it a true 180. I, I like to do standard again and try to keep it as close to possible. 
And then you do have options. You have the square yeah, off or, the, or to turn it in. Anson County traffic down 526, still the Sierra. Short final, runway 34, Anson. Oh, baby. No, 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 no. Ah, dang it. Floats until she doesn't. Yeah, I know. And that's all she wrote. I uh, know. So you just need a, a squeak of power. So the other thing you can look at, too, is adjust your aiming point. I mean, I know that you're just starting this, but maybe we don't point at the top of the numbers. You know, maybe we point three, three dashes down or something. And again, try to find something consistent that you can gauge how long she's going to float before she hits. Okay. All right. Anson County traffic down with 526, Delta Sierra B, and part the area to the northwest. All right, so let, what, what altitude did we say? 18. Uh, 16. So let's get to 1600 and kind of fly off to the west here. All right, flaps are up. Fuel pump are that's okay. all. Bring this back to 24. Can you smell something? Yeah, that's a meat pack. Oh, really? Uh, right at the end of the runway. They call it a, um, a protein plant. Um, that's a nice way of saying a meat packing plant. Yeah. Alright. Alright, so we're going to look for some points that are away from towers and that are easily easy to see. And if you're practicing this maneuver, and you're using houses or something, don't go more than once or twice around. You don't want yeah, to you don't impose them. irritate people. This is what you're looking for. Do you want to enter with the wind? Is what you you want the wind at your tail, yeah. So no, we have to go away. Peel off up here. Yeah, so let's use that little barn that's in the field by itself. Yep. And then one of those um, barns over there. We can't use the whole grouping, but... Davidson County helicopter 512 with Now we're going to come in at 1600 uh, and 100 six knot ground speed. Right? The, so that's uh, what we're monitoring is our ground speed. Six, okay, that's a great bar. See how it's out there by itself? Actually, why don't you use the, the pond? might be a little close. We could try the pond. Let's try the pond. The pond and the, the little house. Just got to watch out. I guess it's that guy over there. Oh. Alright, you want me to fly one? Or you want to do it? I'm going to try it. Okay. Let's see how bad it is. But with the quality of verbal instruction that I've given you. Oh yeah, that's top notch. It should be oh, easy. Yeah. How could you do better? I, I just explained it perfectly. Alright, yep. And now you just need to execute. Go on house first. Do the house first. We'll go left first. So you want to get it Davis lined up so the tip of your wing is going to be right covering that house. That's that's your benchmark is. And once that house goes under your wing, then you bank. I feel like I'm too close to it. Like uh, it's not on the tip of the wing. In the middle. Can't see from here. All right, don't turn it until it goes under your wing. Okay, now turn it. All right, now keep it right there. Uh, keep your bank going. The house is in front of you, so you would push forward a little bit. There you go. Oh, crap. Alright, let's stay tight on it. Alright, now as you're coming around, do you have your next spot in view? Yeah. Okay. I think it's definitely too close, but let's just see. Hey, the pond's way too close. We're gonna we're gonna cross the pond. All right, look at this little white house with the white blue house with the white roof over I'll here. See okay, we'll just switch our points. We're too close. All right, so now you're gonna go wings level. One, two, three, four, five, well, six, okay. seven. So he was a little bit far, but oh, wait, wait, wait! You're not crossed him yet. Uh, there we go. I'll go. Uh, yeah, he's kind of hard to see. So you see, finding nice pylons 
Yeah, there's all kinds of trees in the way. Yeah. He'll come into view. Right, he's getting in front of you. Okay, now as you're coming around, you start looking for your other pylon. All right, level out. Find your other pylon. Ace County traffic is time. Enzo County traffic, Diamond 945 Lima, uh, left Franklin for runway 34, Enzo. Alright, but then you would roll out and go yeah. straight out, that's the end of the pattern. Okay. Alright, so that last leg, you would just go right past that pylon again. Okay. Uh-oh, uh-oh, you just lost an engine. Uh-oh. This glide speed, uh, 68. Uh, 73. Uh, 73. All right, looking for the best place. Uh. Hey, your wind's coming from about two o'clock. If you wanted to try to get into the wind, I'm up that way. I don't know. Chuck one one zero zero back to Concord, clear to the Concord Airport. Honestly, what do you think about this little flaw? That is your final. So right here, and okay. three, two, three, well, two, two, four, it's kind of be a crosswind, but there's trees right okay. there. So you've, you've got glide speed, you've yep, found your spot, around this way. okay, what's our other things we can do now? Um, uh, you'd contact them, tell them what's happening, and okay. then if you got time, you'd look through the checklist, see if you can re restart okay. it or something. So even without the checklist, we know we can uh, check one, throttle, three, 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 we can check five, mixture, five, uh, we can check make sure we're on a tank with fuel in it, um, all those things, and we might be able to start her, but in this case, uh, we've checked that and she's not starting. We don't want a monkey with flaps until we know that we have yeah. our field made. I can still see it. Okay. No, I got it. Almost looks like a grass runway, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's straight. Okay, so what do you think? We high, we low? We're high. Okay, so how can we fix that? But you still got the trees at the end, so I would keep it high, but you would definitely do a slip. Okay, well, let's do whatever you're going to do. You're also way fast, right? You're not going to be able to land at this speed. I would probably dump in a notch of flaps. And from up here, I mean, you got the field made from here, right? Oh, yeah. All right, so let's turn in. Honestly, this might not have been the best one. I mean, it's long, but right, it's but not as open as some of these. Right, but that's you. That's the one you chose. All right, but we got to get down, right? So we would probably dump our next notch of flaps in. Yep. And slip her in. And you're going to put us right in the creek. Hold on. I would do another slip, but I know you don't want to go too low. Okay, let's go around. Yeah. Concord Tower, Diamond 56 Delta Zero is 10 miles to the southeast with Hilo inbound, full stop. I'm start 56 Delta Zero, Concord, right base, runway 2, report over the speedway. Right base, runway 2, report over the speedway, 56 Delta Zero. Concord Tower, Diamond 56 Delta Zero, crossing over the speedway. I'm start 6 Delta Zero, runway 2, put in. Runway 2, clear to land, 56 Delta Zero. That's take off, that's full, that's full. Landing's on, strobe's on. No flaps yet. Full pump. Yep, fuel pump, take some speed out. I can get the flaps in. Alright. Not much. Full high. March 620 Alpha, Concord. This is 00 Sierra Quebec, contact Charlie. Contact Charlie, good day, 110 Sierra Quebec.